hello guys in this video i will be talking about carbocation chemistry so mainly in this short video will be focused about one two shifts it could be one two hydride shift or it could be one two alkyl shift let's have a look at one two hydride shift so you have a primary carbocation as you know it's really unstable compared to secondary and tertiary so what happens in that situation one of the hydrogen from the neighboring atom is shifted towards that primary carbocation and as a result the carbocation will become tertiary so that's called one two hydride shift and it's really important when you are doing organic chemistry mechanism react of any reaction so you need to look for that situation if you are generating a primary carbocation there might be a possibility that the hydride shift will happen and then you will get a stable carbocation that is tertiary so why these shifts ha happen because carbocations formed before the shift are unstable and as a result of shift they become stable have a look at the, another example again it's a primary carbocation now we have two situations when hydride shift can also happen and uh, alkyl shift can also happen so if we proceed with the alkyl uh, this one hydride shift as a result we will get a tertiary carbocation but if we move the alkyl group that is ch3 group that is called alkyl shift why we are saying it's a one two because the shift is happening from carbon number one towards carbon number two or the distance between the two carbons is one and two so this is called one two alkyl shift and as a result you get the secondary carbocation and another example where you have a carbocation that is primary and now this is of outside the cyclic now what happens this ch2 that is called one two alkyl shift will happen in the ring enlargement happens so five member ring is converted into six member ring that is called secondary carbocation and these situations does arise when you are doing alcohol chemistry or alkene chemistry where formation of carbocation is quite common so need to keep these situations in mind when writing down the mechanism of reaction so these this video is important for the chemistry of carbocations when particularly doing the mechanism of the reactions thanks for watching more will videos be available about carbocation in next series thanks for watching bye